In this video, we will guide you on the steps to maintain multiple unit of measurement conversions in Execute. There are three levels of hierarchy in the type of unit of measurement conversion. Coming down from global to item and then to customer and vendor. A global conversion is a general conversion that is available to all the items sharing either of the specified unit of measurement in the system. An item conversion is less general. It only allows selected item to utilize the conversion that has been defined. Conversion by vendor or customer is the most specific type of them all. It allows you to define a conversion between two units of measurement for an item coming from a specific vendor or customer. For example, for the same item, you can define a conversion of one box equals to 50 kg from vendor A, with another conversion of one box equals to 100 kg from vendor B. This is especially useful if you have multiple packaging styles for an item and you would not want your workers to mess up the transaction. To create a unit of measurement conversion, go to the master files in the home page. Click on the UOM conversions. Click on the Add button. It is easier to assign the bigger packaging unit as the base UOM and the converted UOM a smaller and more discrete unit. By doing so, your conversion factor is less likely to contain decimal places and it will be much simpler for your user to understand the calculation. Note that the conversion in Execute works both ways. Meaning to say you only need to maintain one set of conversion between two unit of measurements. And there is no need to maintain another set in the reverse order. Any UOM conversion that has been defined can be used in all transactions in Execute except job receipt, job return, and inventory count. If there is a UOM conversion defined, click on the search button next to the UOM field to select the UOM that you want. Thank you for watching this video.